We looked at how wonderful the Bible is. We looked how unique the Bible is. But how do we know that the Bible is true? I mean, how do we know that it's just not just some giant coincidence that somehow it just all happened, right? There is a lot of people that perceive such foolishness. We know that through the spheres of science. Interesting enough, it's been interesting because for thousands of years, people have believed that the earth was flat. They just thought the earth was flat. They thought that there was four pillars that held up the earth. Some people, there's even writings that uh, perceive that it was flat, and it was flat and it was the back of a giant turtle, this is what they believe, and four elephants were there supporting the earth. These were the great thinkers that have, uh, that are behind us. Socrates, Aristotle, these great, this is what everyone believed in that era of time. It was not until Christopher Columbus discovered the earth, discovered rather America, and that the earth was not flat, rather that it was round. But understand this, Christopher Columbus was a Christian. And Christopher Columbus read his Bible. And one day, Christopher Columbus read, read Isaiah chapter 40, verse number 22, which states, it is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth. So he was always there for thousands of years that the earth was round. Yet men in his philosophical state believed that the earth was flat. And so there's just various aspects of science that support this. How about the fact that, that for many years before the invention of the telescope, they only thought that there was a thousand and eighty stars that were in the skies. How do we know that? Because someone counted them. But when the telescope was invented, they saw that the stars were innumerable. They thought, oh, this is a great breakthrough. Because now we see that there are innumerable stars. That wasn't a great breakthrough. The Bible recorded that in Job 26, rather, Jeremiah 33, verse number 22. It says, the host of heavens cannot be numbered, neither the sand of the sea measured. In other words, you're saying the stars that are in the sky are equivalent to that of the sands of the, of the seashore. So the word has always communicated that, and it's only in recent time that science is catching up with the cutting edge report of the word of God. Amen. Amen. 26, verse number 7. He stretches out the north over the empty place and hangeth the earth upon nothing. That was just recently discovered that the earth is supported by uh, immaterial matter. That the earth spins on the axis of 11 degrees. They didn't know that until recently, but it's always been in the Word of God. Praise the 